Hey guys, the other day I was making this thing off. Uh, let's see, I could do it a little, got an adjustment on it, but yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Makes a bit of a noise. Yeah, anyhow, I did that. This is the body of an old uh, shock absorber and some some stuff. Anyhow, I was working on that, and my lathe really started making a funny noise. And hopefully, you'll see that that we got we got some play in that shaft. And uh, I took it all apart, and the shaft itself is pretty pretty scored up and worn, uh, as well as the bushings. So. I got bushings. They're a little bit long and they got these shoulders on them. I'll have to deal with them. And I got a piece of shaft, which I've been low on stock anyhow, so I need it. Uh, this is bigger than what I need, so I'm going to have to turn it down. So I have to repair the lathe with the lathe. Hey, so, uh, yeah. There goes my battery. All right, later. All right, got a shaft in place. Uh, it's got a, some run out, you know, it's kind of bent or something, whatever, my chuck ain't holding it. But I can turn it down clean to uh, 800 thousandths, and what I need is three quarter or uh, blah, 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 750. So that gives me plenty of room. And I got way, uh, a couple inches more length than I need. So I should be good on this. I'm going to get on that. And I'm going to turn this off because my battery, of course, I don't know what's up with this battery. I charge it all night and it's crap. But I want to listen to my radio anyhow, so let's get back to it. All right, got a fit that I'm happy with. Over here I got, you can just barely feel the play a little bit, but the majority of this shaft is just like right on. Uh, <clears throat> Turning a shaft on this lathe, it just uh, it doesn't come out perfect. Something's off. Maybe the bed's twisted. Maybe the tail stock's out of alignment. I don't know. So it took a while with the uh, with sandpaper and a file. And this is another bushing, and that just goes on there ever so nice. I mean, there's one tiny little. Uh, I don't know. I might have just wore it off, but. Coming out good. Next thing is to do these bushings up. Here we go. Shaft and bushings. These are a hair over uh, three quarter, between three quarter and five eighths, whatever that is. But that's not so critical so long as there's a channel in between them for uh, oil to to go in through these little little caps here. It'd be nice to have the the actual uh, where to put it. Oilers, you know, the glass things, you always see them on, here we go, these things, yeah, that'd be nice. All right, time to tear it apart. Now you can probably see just how hammered that thing was getting. A lot of wobble on there. So hopefully we're going to take care of that. All right, let's see how this goes in the vise. Feels nice. There's one in. Actually, nothing really wrong with those old bushings. But uh, I went to the work of doing these things up, so I'm going to use them. Run this out. Yank. Pop another one in. A oh, little cockeyed. Think. Yeah, certainly is. There we go. Fixed it. We've recovered it. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right. And repeat the process. Thought it was just gonna fit right in. 
Just simply install it now. Yeah, sure. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I'm holding out the bushings. Because they don't quite fit. So, that's going to be a while. There we go, back together. Just, uh, some don't seem right, like right there, looks like there's something missing. Uh, I don't imagine that, I know what, because I, I have the retainer in there. And there's a retainer over there. And this pulley is retaining as well. So it's not like anything's going to go anywhere, it just looks like something's missing. I don't know, maybe I just never noticed it before. But, uh, this thing, a little sandpaper around there, worked fantastic to, to home those bearings and I pumped it, pumped these little oilers right full. And it sounds great. There's no more rumbling when I run it at high speed. Uh, as for this old shaft, the bushings themselves were okay. Uh, you can see that got pretty chowdered. Uh, but this is, you know, this is a nice shaft for something, and I got four bushings to fit it. So I'll keep a hold of that. I won't. I ain't gonna chuck that. <laughs> uh, that's a relief. Now, I think I got something strange I got to isolate in that headstock. Oh, wow, that belt's really pushing hard against the side of that pulley. I got to do a little adjustment. But, well, maybe that's why it looks so funny. This step pulley might have to be over this way a little bit. All right, uh, first of all, Zippo, thanks for the idea about covering your stuff with oily rags. Jeff Bradshaw, magnets, chuck keys. And I just gotta quit putting my chuck keys where I think they'll be safe. Anyhow, we're pretty well set. I got it running just off of the edge, just off of the edge here, a little bit of clearance. It's kind of centered on that one. I can't really seem to get it any better than that, but if I can do this. Here we go, high. Jump the belt. And there's second. I guess. <laughs> what would you call it? Mid-range? I don't know. Now if I can get it on low. And there's low. And jump this belt off, jump off the V-belt. We'll try it on, yeah, on the shell. Not a problem. We're doing good. And it sounds nice. New shaft. <laughs> Okay, take care guys, thanks for watching.